Hey Virgo. Hey Scorpio. What's going on? So, um, when I was getting into you guys' energy, I heard tramp. I'm like, like a tramp stamp? Or, no, it was just simply tramp. And I'm like, tramp is so old. Like, who uses tramp? But um, either someone is a tramp or something like that. I almost wanted to get out my phone and look up the meaning of the word tramp. Because it's like, it's just so weird for it to come out. Either way, beloved, what's the um energy between Virgo and Scorpio, please? So Virgo, you have spiritual growth. I'm sorry. Obstacles are in the middle and Scorpio has new love you know I gotta do it you guys because what the tramp like if someone cause my interpretation of tramp was like a 80's 90's 2000 term for like a, a thought but let me see real quick the definition walk heavily or noisy a person who travels from place to place on foot in search of work or as a vagrant or beggar so it's, it has to be the noun a person who travels from place to place on foot in search of work or as a vagrant or beggar oh wow oh wow Ooh. who energy is this getting ready to be maybe that's the big ass opisco that stands in the middle of you guys' relationship but let's see what's up somebody definitely has a knight of wands energy but let's see what's going on beloved what's going on with virgo and the scorpio please what's going on with the Virgo and scorpio please what's the energy for virgo dealing with scorpios thank you Alright, and for Virgo, oh we, do you guys see what popped out right away? Okay, I, you know, there, with God, there are no coincidences. And that's like, oh my goodness. One, okay, if, if you were, you know, a parent back in, I don't know. What did I say? The 80s, 90s, 2000? That would be what you would call that person. And why the hell is it coming up on your side, Virg? We shall see. But, um... Virg, you have the dancer, luxury, justice, the journalist, the chariot, victory, the empress, and the matriarch. So you have the princess of wands... The Four of Cups, the Justice card. You have the Page of Wands, the Chariot, the Six of Wands, the Empress, and the Matriarch. Oh, we, Virgo? Virg. Why is this reading trying to put the blame on you, Virg? What's going on with the Scorpio? Um, oh my goodness. Let me get these cards out because I got to dig into over here. It's, it's crazy what's going on over here on Berg's side. Um, so Scorpio has the Two of Cups, Love. They have the Nine of Cups, Happiness. The Eight of Swords, Interference. The Prince of Discs, the Day Trader. The Four of Swords, Truth. The Ace of Swords. And the Three of Pentacles. Ugh. You know, I don't know. I don't want to be disrespectful to either side, right? But don't hate me. I have to read this energy. You know, what's being told here, and this is coming out on the Berg side. Oh, wow. A lady 
in the streets and a freak in bed. Tramp. Oh my goodness, Ferg, don't hate me. This energy, I'm sorry, with the Princess of Wands and the Prince of Wands, this is screaming someone who is very promiscuous. Someone who is very loose, um, unspiritual, um, lack of morality. This energy is screaming, whether it's present or past life. Take it how it resonates, but it's screaming that you cheated on me. This is what Scorpio is saying. You cheated on me. Like Scorpio feels like the reason why sometimes you don't want to be bothered with them is because you're entertaining others. Or you have someone else on the side. Or something like that. Scorpio finds themselves at times wondering like whether or not you're being honest with them. Whether or not you're telling them the truth. They feel like... Mm, mm, mm. They feel like you'll do it. Bird, don't hate me. But they feel like you'll do anything for attention. That you're attracted to people for the things they have, not for their heart and who they are. What they're trying to set you up to kind of be with this queen of, um, queen of pentacles. And empress card is kind of a gold digger. And I know it's harsh. But with this justice card, I mean, this is what's been, like, decided. I'm not saying it's true, but on the flip side, Berg, this is how you could feel about Scorpio. But the way I'm reading the energy, take it how it resonates. You know, Berg, Scorpio feel like you guys have this super strong connection and like it could be some solid and everything they wish for but it's like they always have to worry about if you're being true for honest something about Scorpio screaming that Virgo lied to me Virgo's not honest with me they don't trust you with their heart but they want to like be with you they can see themselves like building a relationship with you having like building a solid foundation something that's long lasting but they don't feel like you're being honest and i don't know if it's vice versa or what but this person over here was the energy that was screaming tramp and it's coming under virgo so virgo could be how you feel about scorpio but the energy is just so straightforward someone feels like someone is like if we if we like set it up for today's modern turn somebody feel like somebody's a cheater a two-timer um unfaithful all that type of stuff but let's see what's the obstacle here for virgo and scorpio please what's the obstacle i mean let's just be honest here okay we would all like to think we are perfect angels. There's absolutely no, nothing wrong with us. But we all know who we are, right? So I don't want anyone to like feel judged or bad if they've had a moment where they were promiscuous. I mean, how else would you learn if you didn't have those times or those moments, you know? Like, I'm not trying to judge. I'm just saying that was the energy that came out was like tramp. And then, you know, that dance came out. Oh, so someone could be a stripper. Someone could met someone why they were stripping. But um, what's the obstacle here? You guessed it. If you guys guessed it, then you already know what the obstacle is. Someone is very promiscuous. And it stops someone from wanting a relationship with them with this hair fin energy. 
Oh wow. The Six of Cups, the Moon, the Three of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Four of Cups. It's reiterating exactly what I said earlier. Like some, like for Scorpio, Scorpio feel like they could build a solid foundation with Virg, all that. But they don't feel like, or whoever's energy this is, take it out of place. Somebody don't feel like someone's faithful to them. Like if they have somebody else. And you know what's crazy? As I feel like with this Eight of Swords coming up twice, Scorpio's always thinking about it. It's not a day that goes by where it's not on their mind. And they try to put them be behind them. They try to put it behind them because they actually do love Berg. But I don't know. They just don't feel like someone is being faithful in this connection. Mm. You know, I was going to go more into it, but I think I'm going to leave it right there. Because if I haven't offended my beautiful Virgos enough, I'm sure I will if I continue. But um, either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. And I'll see you next time. Take care.